Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we've got some more Cube World information for you. Today this one is a new blog post obviously uh, as of the 10th of January 2014. Now this one is on the new quest system. So if you remember back in December we had some new screenshots that were kind of showing off the biomes and the landscapes and all the new stuff that are coming in the new update. Don't know what the update's called yet, like 2.0 or stuff like that, 1.1, I don't know what you want to call it. Let's call it 1.1 because that would be common sense. Anyway, so we've got the quest system preview. Last blog post, like I say, was the new landscapes and more. Today we've got one called quest system preview, inverted commas, because that's the title. Anyway, so we've got 18 new screenshots. I'm going to run through them all, just as per usual. If you've got any questions, I can comment down below, I can respond, but hopefully I should cover most things that people have to say in this video. If not, then I'm a bad person. Just kidding. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first screenshot, we've got again, we've got a guy, which is Wale, which is the maid this time, he's level 13, and we're talking to someone that says, defeat the orc. Now, because this is on quests, obviously we're going to be talking to people, we're going to get some quests. So this guy, this person, guy, man, woman, can't tell, not a sexist thing, just saying. Dangerous orc gangs are terrorising our land in exclamation point. So, obviously, and then you get the quest, which is to defeat the orc gangs. Now, that's what normally happens with quests, as of, you know, first update, whatever you want to call it, the... Pre the release of the game. Anyway, so that's that. Not, not much really to talk about yet, apart from the fact, you know, not much change to the interface, you know, really. The town looks slightly bigger. There's a white thing on the map. Can't really make it out to see what that is. Time, temperature, humidity, everything's all the same. Not really much change. Quest system obviously has changed. That's why I'm doing this video. Anyway, moving on to the next photo now. We've got a big overview of the map. So if you remember last time, we also had a big screenshot of this, and I was speculating, like, uh, I can't exactly remember what I said, but it was something along the lines of like the castles could be like the castle dungeons or and the skulls could be like the big bosses. Now, I kind of was right about that, but the two other two I had no clue about. So now I can fully explain. In, there, there are different types of quests now, four different types of quests. There's the dungeon quests, monster quests, mini quests and main quests. Dungeon quests are, def are inverted commas, defeat the ruler of the dungeon quests. They are depicted as a red dungeon icon on the map. So... As you can see, like for example, Duogor Castle on this example, Lenian Tower, Falka Castle, Korkor Castle, see up top right, you know, all these. Then we've got Monster Quests. Monster Quests are about defeating big monster bosses like trolls, saurians, etc. They have a red skull icon on the map. So these are what I think normally happened with quests at the moment in, like, you know, Cube World as it stands at the moment. So as you can see on the map, these haven't actually got names on, they've just got their difficulty level, which is plus one, which I've already forgotten what the plus one stuff means, but you should already know. So as you can see, we've got like two, three, four, five, four on the map, as you can see there. Uh, also, we've got mini quests, and mini quests are quests that can spawn randomly everywhere in the world. Not anywhere, everywhere. They can be discovered while travelling, and if you have already discovered the part of that map, have a silver shield icon on the map. So if you've already been to that area of the map and there's a quest there it will have a shield as you can see on the right side of the map and at the bottom down here on this screenshot you can see that those will be the mini quests that you could be given they are meant to small side quests that you can do during exploration so it's kind of a thing like oh you're discovering new land there's a guy oh can you go here and get me some gold or whatever i don't know that's just bringing it out of my head uh, so it's going to be stuff like that it's not necessarily going to be uh, you go somewhere kill a guy come back Maybe, I don't know, but it's kind of not going to take up a lot of, a lot of your time, or like 15-20 like minutes of your time. And then finally we've got main quests. Main quests are random quest lines that are generated for each land. They often send you to various locations in the land, like dungeons or ancient ruins, and sometimes just into the wilderness. Target locations are marked with a gold sword icon on the map. The objectives are varying and can involve fighting gangs, fighting NPCs, eliminating objects, carrying things around and more. So I wonder if we'll ever fight tunnel snakes. Um, but as you can see, so it's kind of stuff like they carrying things around. I like that because I think you can pick up items in this. I don't know why I'm saying think you can. Uh, but I haven't played in a while so I've obviously got, forgot some things. Finding NPCs, you know, it's not all the same as I think as it is at the moment, which is just go out, kill someone, come back. There's your XP, whatever. Um, so now main quests actually do mean something, which is quite good. The blog post also moves on to say that during development there's several change challenges that they wanted to go over. I want uh, It says, I wanted to have a complex quest system objectives while keeping data representation of quests simple and also using usable in multiplayer. Thanks to the procedural generation of quests, I came up with a nice solution which requires only storing a small set amount of variables for each quest. So I'm guessing that's, you know 
Tech talk. <laughs> uh, also, generating quest text for random quests isn't trivial. I had to create a basic grammar system and dictionary to be able to generate text from arbitrary combinations of creatures, objects, and locations. Currently, we're adding more quest variations to make it as non-repetitive as possible. In the screenshots below, you'll have a few examples of what to expect. So that literally summarizes uh, the blog post. I say summarizes, I've literally read it out. Uh, still more screenshots to go through, this is like the second one, I will move them on. So at least now we understand what these symbols mean and not just me making a wild guess. So moving on to the third screenshot now, this one's actually a main quest. Uh, I'm guessing you can kind of tell because of the border, which is like a gradient gold. Uh, as you can see, it also says defeat the orc gangs and there's a bar percentage bar. I'm going to guess the percentage bar is how much you've killed, like overall progress of how many orcs you've had to kill in that area or for that gang. So obviously that's a good indicator of how much you've got left and how much there is. I think as well, that might also be a multiplayer person, as you can see on the icon. Tell me if I'm wrong, obviously. Uh, but also as well, you know, not much change again in the forest biome. But like I say, the only things that have changed is the bar, percentage bar. I think maybe the gradient uh, border there. And obviously the maps are normal and everything else is the same. Four screenshots is literally just a zoomed out version of what was actually going in the last screenshot, really. You can see the orc gangs. So I'm guessing what I said earlier as to what they were multiplayer is actually a lie. Maybe uh, the gangs and like the people you're supposed to kill show up on the map to make it slightly more easier. I'm guessing that's good, but maybe only if like they've engaged in combat with you. Like, for example, if they're hiding, maybe, then they shouldn't show up on the map. But that's just my idea. And again, not much else really show off. Next screenshot now, which is the fifth, as you can see, literally just destroyed, uh, while he's just defeated the uh, last orc for that main quest as we were doing there. So as it say, normally quest complete to find the orc gangs, it now says your objective, like below the map now, talk to Wolf, Wolfton the human, that's a nice name, Wolfton. Uh, I'm guessing he's a wolf. <laughs> but as you can see now, the, uh, the border is now fully, or, you know, is fully coloured in, which I'm saying like, well done, quest complete, go turn it in. So that's a good indicator of where you are on... The quest which is pretty good again not much else really because it's just literally following the same last screenshots screenshot six now and we're talking to wolfton again i thought wolfton would have been a man it looks like a woman i can't tell these characters <laughs> anyway so we've now turned in that old main quest and we've now got a new one which is to find lana the human uh archer reference um it also says my friend lana wants to fight those gangs i think she got kidnapped in exclamation point so again, that's just kind of showing you what the quest will be like and how the um, the dialogue has now changed in ways of I have not found out. But anyway, nice improvement, subtle improvement, it's good. Moving on to the next screenshot. Next screenshot we now find Wally, obviously I'm guessing in the area of Lana. And it also looks like he's teleported in because you can't actually see on the map that there's any other discovered locations, just putting that out. Anyway, so now you can see that um, the uh, final line of the human, it's now the border, which I'm guessing is, you know, the main quest which is on. And there's also the one below it that says defeat the spectring, spectrino gang. I can't really say that. I think also, zooming in on that, might, uh, might that might actually be a new mob. It looks like, <laughs> for some reason it looks like they're rainbows, but they're kind of like normal people, but they're just colored rainbows. I don't know. You can't really zoom and enhance on that really, it's really, I'll zoom in as much as possible but the crosshair is kind of covering up a lot. Uh, but you can also see that it's covered in silver which is, I'm guessing, a side quest or mini quest because, so it runs on the colour system. So if you remember on the maps it was a uh, silver shield icon and for main quests it was the golden sword. So uh, like I say, main quest is golden around, mini quests are the silver bordered one. And I'm guessing the monster quests and the dungeon quests won't necessarily need to show up. I don't know, but we'll see. Eight screenshot, Wally's finally found Lana. <laughs> Says, my friend Wolfton is probably looking for me. Please carry, m Please carry me and find him. Wow, you have to actually carry people. So you have to pick up Lana and take her back to her friend. So that could also be like good for co-op, whereas like, you know, one's taking one back and it's like protect the VIP, you know, stuff like that protect the guy who's carrying Lana, all that stuff. Um, carry Lana to Wolfton the Human. Again, that's just the quest as it is at the moment because we found Lana. Uh, next screenshot, we might find out what's happening. The next screenshot, we actually find out what it's like to pick up Lana. As you can see, you literally put her on top of your head and you go walking, just like any other thing you pick up in Cube World. <laughs> yeah. So again, not much to really say apart from the fact that she's been picked up. But that's what it looks like. Picture 10. Eight more to go. We've now took Lana to Wolfton, as you can see. It's gone fully coloured in, as I say. Well, then you complete the quest. Uh, quest complete, carry Lana to, to Wolfton the human. 
uh, you got 11 XP off that, so I'm guessing as it's kind of like a beginning, at, like the beginning, the spawning area, it's going to be low level XP, and maybe the further you go out, or the more you have to do within the quest, the more XP you get out of it. That I'd like to hear your, your guys thoughts on that, what do you think, would you get more XP for more quests, Ob objectives, obviously, you know, that's how I think. Anyway, picture 11, we've got, again, we're talking to Wharfton again, who's going to give us another quest, it's it, and you know, he's too lazy to do his own quests, it says, it seems... That the orc leader is still around. His name is Uzkaz. At least they fell saying that name. So, again, it looks like there's going to be like one. I think maybe it'd be good if there was like different people for quests. But again, I don't know. Just my opinion. But uh, looks like at the moment it's just the one person you go to. He gives you a quest, and then you go and do that. Next screenshot's just a overview of the map, pointing out where Wally's going to go to to complete the orc champion quest, which was the previous one. Uh, I'm guessing the golden sword in the middle is the one that he's heading to. Picture 13, we can actually see the orc, which for his main quest. I'm guessing maybe that if it's for a quest, there'll be diff there'll be odd colours. Like, for example, this guy's orange. Just a shot in the dark there, maybe. Or it's just different coloured armour. I don't know. But uh, he does look quite cool. There's a crab there, also trying to attack him. Trying to claw his feet off. <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, but, again, screenshot. Not much really to say, apart from the fact that, you know, apart from rainbow coloured and all the stuff I've said. Picture 14... Finally defeated the uh, Orc Champion, as you can see. Now it says quest complete, defeated the Orc Champion. Obviously, you know, you got loot and all the XP you're gaining off it. All that stuff. Not much really, again, to say. Apart from the fact that there isn't actually another quest objective beneath so, uh, beneath the map. So, that might be something. Now, picture 15 and 16 and 17 and maybe 18. We actually kind of go weird because we're now in this different landscape. I'm guessing... It's still the winter one. I think there's a winter one in Cubal at the moment. I'm going to go on, on a stretch and say that there is. Although I remember, because there is. Um, we've now got these demon portals. As you can see, we're hovering over one. Because that's what they're called. Because that's what it says. It says plus 20. So I'm guessing... Uh, it looks like bat creatures. I don't know what they are. You can zoom and enhance on that. But it doesn't really look visible. Um, like, you know, you won't really get much out of it. But they do look like kind of like bat things that can come out of these portals. And maybe a place to grind for more XP. Obviously, it wouldn't be good if there was an unlimited amount of creatures coming out of it, maybe, like, a certain amount. Or, like, the more people you kill, like, the different people come out, they're, like, higher level and they're harder and stuff like that. They gradually get harder and harder and harder. That's my opinion. Again, uh, it kind of looks like it's a, um, like, one of those, like, really big mountainous, hard-to-fight, lots-of-enemies areas, if you remember those. I don't know if you do. I've also noticed as well, below the map, it also says the objective is to destroy the demon portals. And it also says in the top right, which you guys have know, know, you've noticed, I haven't. It actually says like plus 20, which is obviously the level which it is. So I'm, I'm guessing it says in the quest at the top that that's how much it will be. Which is good. Book 16, we can see Wally's nearly died. That's not the main feature though. Uh, we're up close to the demon portals. It looks like they take a bit to die then, in this case, because he's actually punching them. Because you're the warrior. Um, they're on half health, you know, plus 20. And these, these bat creatures that I said are actually imps. And, they're also, and it looks like I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the, the mobs that come out are the exact same level that you fight the demon portal. So if a demon portal is plus 15, the mobs that come out will be plus 15. Or if it's plus 30, they'll be plus 30, for example. And uh, like I say, that's just an up close -up personal shot of the uh, demon portal. Picture 17 now, one more to go. And we've finally seen that we, on the map that we've got a main quest and a dungeon quest in the same area. So maybe two into one and you get more XP out of it. I don't know. Uh, maybe the next picture will reveal more. So picture 18 now, as you can see, this is kind of like down on the ground of what Wally was just showing in the map. As you can see, we've got the main quest, which is uh, to examine the bone pile in the catacombs of Anlan. And we've got the dungeon quest, uh, that's not true, the mini quest, because it's silver, remember that, to defeat Mordemar, the ruler of the catacombs of Anlan. So you can actually get different quests that go into one area. So as you can see, this is pretty cool, and obviously that the dungeon leads underground. Um, we've now changed character to Diego. Nice name choice there. Who's level 43? <laughs> nice thing to point out. But that is literally all of these screenshots for this month's blog post, I suppose, really. Um, there seems to be one a month so far. If you want to see the screenshots as well for yourself, you can obviously check out the link in the description down below. Um, you know, you can click on it. You can read the... Uh, you can read the blog there if you want to. It's over on the Picroma website, so obviously it's not really far to go. 
But anyway, like I said, that kind of sums up much for the blog post. I kind of read it out earlier. There's not much really to say off now. If you think I've missed anything, obviously say it below in the comments and I'll obviously get back to you and respond with like my opinions. If you say like, oh, maybe this is that or that's this, you know, I'll obviously say. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you, if you did enjoy it, obviously at all and like and subscribe. I will be doing some more of these blog posts. Obviously, I don't make them while he does <laughs> when they do come out. Uh, but like I say, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.